everyone. So today I'm going to be doing a boxy charm unboxing of my July box and the theme of this one is Eau Natural. So I'm going to go through and share with you guys everything I got in my box and let you guys know what I think about these products and if I think it's worth it or not. Really quickly, if you'd like to sign up for boxy charm, I do have a referral link below that usually we both get points for or perks. Um, so if you are interested in signing up and you would like to use my link below, I would greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, let's get into the video. So this month I got the box variation number two and my box came with five different products. So I got some skincare, got some makeup, and yeah, so let's just get started and I'll start with the first product. All right, so the theme of this month's BoxyCharm box is Oh Natural, so only fitting I am Oh Natural right now. So the first product I have is from Elemis, and I think I've gotten another Elemis product before in my December Boxy Lux box. I think I got the Marine Cream, which I really liked, but unfortunately it broke me out. So I hope this doesn't do anything like that to me, but this is called the Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. This retails for $35, and it says that it is a shot of green goodness. It's supposed to nourish, smooth, and brighten your skin. So I'm excited to try this one out. And I'm gonna use another product from the box to actually apply this. this is is one of the Luxie brushes. This is the 510 foundation brush, and I think I might already have this one. I'm not sure, but I'm going to actually use this one to apply this mask. All right, so this is what the mask looks like, and I'm just going to start applying it to my skin. It's like a really pale green kind of color. It feels really nice so far. It's got a really nice, like, I don't know, smoothing feeling. Okay, so this is how it looks on my face, just a very light green color. It feels very soft and smooth, which I really, really like. Um, I feel like this is gonna be one of those super easy to remove type of masks. It doesn't seem like it's one of those really thick, um, almost like clay-like masks, um, which I do like, but they are a bit of a hassle to clean up. This one kind of reminds me more of like the texture of like a cold cream or something, which I really like because it's so easy to just like wash away. So I'm gonna leave this on. Let me see what the instructions say. It says to leave it on for 10 minutes so I like that it's not one of those really long mascots you have to leave on and it just says it has avocado and broccoli seed oils in it so that's kind of cool it does have a little bit of a earthy kind of scent to it nothing that I think is like a bad scent at all but it is a little bit of a stronger scent but just overall really earthy and a little bit more of like a natural scent so and my skin has just been through it all over these like past couple weeks um i don't know if like stress or just like anxiety or just it's something is getting to me because i have never broken out this bad in a long long time so my skin just needs a little bit of extra love right now all right so i just washed off the mask and my skin feels super super soft and smooth like i said it really kind of gives you the feeling of like you've just applied like a cold cream it was also very easy to remove super simple and like really not a big mess at all so i feel like I, this is one i'd probably use again it's supposed to help give you kind of like a fresh brightened and awakened kind of look um but yeah so far i like this um granted that if it doesn't give me any like skin issues or anything I feel like this is totally one I would use again. But yeah, so so far I give this one a total thumbs up and let's move on to the next things. Okay, so the next thing that came in my box is a three-piece brush trio set and this is from Luxie. And I think these are called the Gaia or Gaia or Jaya. I have no idea. But I love that they came in this um, paper packaging, which is so much more environmentally friendly. And I love that because obviously paper is recyclable. And I love because this is like a whole, like more like a natural themed box. I love that. And the three brushes that came in the set look like this. So of course the first one is the 510 foundation brush. So I use that one today. I love these for applying masks. Not so much for foundation, but they're perfect for applying masks. And then the other two I'll try to use today. They're not my favorite type of styles. Um, I might already have these. I'll have to go through my collection and look, but this is the Luxie 250 large eye blending brush. And then the other one is the 246 precision crease brush. And this retails for $30 for these three. That's about $10 a brush. Honestly, I think that's way overpriced for them. I like a lot of Luxie brushes a lot, but $10 a brush for these is definitely way more than I would ever pay for them. So I think this is a little bit of, um, I know, at least for me, it's kind of like a fillery type of product, but luckily I didn't have to pay 30 bucks for them. So yeah, that's really good. So I'm gonna use those two eye brushes today. And then the next product I got is the palette. And I like this a lot so far, just from looking at it. This is from Butter London. And this is called the Natural Goddess Eyeshadow Palette. So this is what the outer packaging looks like. Very beautiful. I like the wood and the flowers. It's so pretty. And then on the inside, there are six different shadows. And these are the colors. 
to like figure out the best way to show this. Um, so these are the colors. I believe you get these two, I think are matte and then these four are shimmers. So you get like some, like a champagne one, a little bit of like a rusty um, red, a green, a gold, a matte brown, and this really pretty turquoisey blue color. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to try these out and I'm going to see what kind of look I can do with it. All right, and for the eyeshadow, this is the look I created. I just used a little bit of the color Temptress. This one is really pigmented and really dark, so I had to be careful with how I blended it. So I put that in the crease and I built it up just a bit. Then I took the color Enchantress here. It's kind of like a champagne-y kind of color. It's slightly more golden-y champagne than I was expecting, but I did that on the inner corner. I think it still looks pretty though. It's just a little bit darker than I was expecting, but it's still pretty. And then I took the color Star. That's like the sagey green color here, and I did that all over the lid and a little bit on the lower lash line as well. I really, really wanted to play with this color Femme Fatale, but I don't know, sometimes blues just look a little bit weird with my green eyes, um, and I wanted to keep it a little bit more... I don't know, a little more subdued this time. So um, as far as the eyeshadows went, I felt like they worked pretty well. They um, seem to blend really nicely. I like how they look. The colors are super pigmented and overall I'm super happy with this palette and I can't wait to use this one again. Um, this is one like I'm already like trying to decide, ooh, what kind of look can I do next? And I haven't thought that way about a palette in a while. And this was like completely not on my radar at all. Like I haven't even seen this palette before, BoxyCharm. Um, so I'm just really excited that I got that one. So that one retails for, let me see, for, $32 for that palette. I feel like it's a little bit up there, especially for the amount of shadows you're getting, but they are super, super pretty. So, so far, I'm so glad to have gotten that palette, and I think it's really beautiful, and I can't wait to try it again. As far as the brushes go, I'm not a huge fan of this one. I feel like it was just too large for my eyes, and I guess if you have, like, really, really large eyes, or you have a lot of space in between here, this would be a good brush for you. Um, but for me, it was just way too big. But I did use my other Luxie brush that I really, really love. Um, it's quite a bit smaller, if you can see. Um, it's called the, oh, it's already rubbed off. I think it's the 229 Tapered Blending. That one is the one that's my absolute favorite because it's so much smaller and it just fits my eye shape perfectly. Um, so I think for me, this one was just too large. I don't know what I could, I could probably like contour my nose with this type of brush. Otherwise not my favorite. And then this one I should have used and I completely forgot, but it's just really like one of those like just a flat shader brush. Um, and I've got a thousand of these to be honest. So overall for me, the brushes, they're not bad at all. They're just not my specific favorite types of brushes like I've got a million brushes like this and I've got a million like these and this one the only one that I could have liked was the large blending one but it's just too large for me so unfortunately I'm not a huge fan of the brushes but overall not a big deal so the next product I got in my box was an eyeliner and I swear I've gotten probably maybe like four or five eyeliners from BoxyCharm by now and I have not liked really any of them that I can think of um, but this one is from the brand Appeal this is called their gel eyeliner and mine is in the color Desert Taupe Desert Taupe not Desert taupe um so it's like this uh really like bright brown kind of color so this retails for 21 dollars. i feel like that's nowhere near what i would pay for this um but let's give it a go so it's one of those that um you do have to sharpen and i'm not a huge fan of brown eyeliner but i'm gonna give this one a go and i'm gonna try it out and see what i think about it it's definitely showing up. I really like the color of this one so far. Like I feel like a lot of the times um, with BoxyCharm, a lot of the eyeliners I've gotten have been really scratchy. This one I feel like is definitely not scratchy at all. It's definitely more of like a true like gel pencil kind of liner. And I really think that color is coming through. I do have to kind of go over it just a little bit, um, but I don't have to put any like pressure at all on it. And I feel like that color is actually showing up. Can you see? I don't know if you can see, but I actually kind of like this one. I did see some other people were getting this really beautiful like turquoisey blue color that would have been so perfect to go with that eyeshadow um, but unfortunately I didn't get that one but this one's actually kind of pretty too but like I said I'm not much of a brown eyeliner wearer definitely a really really soft one though I don't know if you can tell but I've already like worn it down quite a bit 
Um, it's not a big deal though, but just, you know, being aware of that. So my thoughts on this $21, totally not worth it, but for it being in my BoxyCharm, I didn't have to pay $21 for it, and it's actually probably the best eyeliner pencil I've gotten to date from BoxyCharm, so I'm not mad at this one. I think I will do some eyeliner on the top though, just because my eyes feel like a little uneven now, and I will be doing a black eyeliner, so hopefully that doesn't look weird, um, but I'm gonna finish that off and come back with the last product. All right, and the final product I got in my box is a lip product. This is from Alamar Cosmetics, and this is called the Mother of Pearl Gloss. This retails for $10, and this one is like a super shimmery, like almost like a duochrome glittery type of what I would consider kind of like a lip topper slash gloss kind of product. Yeah, they call it a lip illuminizer. So I've already put on a lip color underneath, um, that way it's not just like glitter on my bare lips, um, but it almost has like a bit of like a goldy peach to green reflex to it. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, but I'm going to apply that and see what I think. Ooh, I can actually see that shift when I like first applied it. Overall, I can't really see the glitter too much on my lips now that I've applied it. It might just be like the lip color I have with it um, that it doesn't show up as much, but I mean, it's really pretty, but I'm just, I'm not really someone who goes for a lot of like a glittery or shimmery type of lip products, to be honest. I've just recently started getting back into like just traditional lipsticks and I really like those. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I feel like I didn't really need this type of product, but it is a pretty one and it retails for at least a reasonable price in my opinion. I think 10 bucks is not bad um, for like a lip gloss type product, um, especially if you like these kind of super super shimmery glitter kind of colors. It does have a different scent to it. I can't quite place my finger on it. It smells slightly more towards like the pineapple-y tropical kind of scent, which I think makes total sense with like the whole brand of Alamar Cosmetics. Um, so I actually like this and I think the packaging is so pretty. Like the lid is like this blue glittery kind of package and it's so, so pretty. And overall, I just really, I'm really happy for um, the owner of this one because I believe she used to work at BoxyCharm and then she left to like make her own company. So I think it's cool that, um, you keep getting like Alamar Cosmetics and stuff and BoxyCharm and stuff. So I really like that. And I, I think that she's got like a really cool brand. So the total value of my box was $128. Overall, all the things that I got that I'm happy with. Um, first off, I really, really like the eyeshadow palette. I think it's so pretty. I mean, is it anything truly unique, unique? Maybe not so, I mean, but these are such pretty colors and I feel like I really honestly can't wait to use this palette again. So I'm really excited about this one. Um, so that's a total, total yes for me. I think the lip gloss has to be kind of like a, a no. I didn't really need this type of product just because a couple months ago I'd gotten like a glittery lip product in my BoxyCharm as well and I wasn't a huge fan of that one either. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna have to give a no on this one. As far as the brushes overall, I have to give that one a no. I'm not a huge fan of that one. Um, as far as the face mask, I really did like how this left my skin feeling and I. I would totally use this one again, so I give this one a yes. And what else did I get? The eyeliner. I'm actually kind of surprised I liked the eyeliner. Like I said, um, I don't really go for browns too often. If I would have gotten that tealy color, ooh, I would have been all over it because I really like the formula of this. It was really similar to like the NYX like slide on gel eyeliners. I felt like it did a really good job of like actually like showing up in my waterline without having to like go in a crazy amount of times across there. And um, it's overall like a super soft, formula of this one, so I, I actually really like this. The price of it, $21 too steep for me, but I like the actual product itself. So overall, I give it three yeses and two noes, and I feel like that's kind of how it goes a lot of the time with BoxyCharm, but overall, I was pretty happy with this box. I feel like I definitely got my $19 worth out of this one, and so I'm super happy with it. So yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, link is below. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.